Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm super excited to have you here today. Um, so I've been getting a lot of DMs and a lot of text messages on Snap and people just asking me to make a yoga video because a lot of people um, are getting influenced and they really wanna try this out but they don't know where to start because either they've never done it before or they're just not flexible, which neither of these things will affect your yoga practice. Everyone has to start somewhere and everyone grows from there and up. So um, today I'm going to be giving some yoga tips and I'm also going to be giving some motivational tips and just staying happy during this time because, well, just because. Um, so before I get into any specific stretches or anything, I just wanna, express the idea that um for the people who are like i'm not flexible like how do i start or like you're a beginner you've never stretched in your life where do i start so the very first thing that i always tell people is establish your groundings establish your foundation so that way you can grow on top of it so what i mean by that is do a couple of stretches that you've ever seen like people do you know just reach for your legs reach for your toes try to do a straddle stretch a bridge, a headstand, you don't have to get that fancy, um, a butterfly stretch, just any basic stretch and see how much it hurts or how uncomfortable it is or can you get your legs all the way to the ground? Can you get your chest to your legs when you stretch? Just those basic ideas so that way if you do decide to continue this practice, you can see yourself grow. Um, yeah, you might even want to want to take like before and after pictures of your headstand or your splits, you know, whatever it may be that you're trying to achieve. Um, so yeah, that's my very first thing for anyone starting out. Just establish your grounding so that way you can grow and see your progress. Um, my second tip, it does not matter how flexible you are whatsoever. The most important thing I'm going to tell you, and you're going to have to remember, is the key to being flexible it really is and i didn't even know this when i was a gymnast which that's as i wish i knew but now that i've done yoga i totally understand how it all works now and that tip is that which you may not understand when i say but i'll explain it more later in the video is that you need to be able to connect your breath to your stretching to your movement because your breath is what gives you the ability to move Okay, and just a quick little touch on how to stay motivated and happy. I do have one other video on my YouTube channel that you can go check out about that, which I made during the fires. But um, someone asked me, they DM'd me, they were like, Caitlin, like, you're so happy. You give us such a great, happy vibe. Like, how do you do this? How do you stay motivated? What, made, what motivates you when you wake up in the morning? And truly, my answer has always been, I wake up in the morning and I'm motivated because I have the opportunity to make another person happy. I, I can literally go out in the world every day and put a smile on someone else's face. For me, it's truly not about my happiness. It's really about making other people happy. And yeah, that sounds so, <laughs> so cheesy and so dumb, but it's true. I really find joy in making other people happy because that makes me happy. Seeing other people smile when I smile, like, making other people laugh. Like there's nothing greater than that. That's just so, it's true. That's just how it is. Um, but to stay happy and motivated, you really need to figure out what makes you happy. What makes you motivated? Like when are you at your happiest? When are you motivated to do stuff? And you know what? That may be hard to find right now during quarantine. Trust me, I know. It took me a few months to realize that I needed to take some people, some things out of my life to finally find my own self-worth and do things that I never would have thought I could do. I mean, I've been doing yoga for a while now and I never posted about it on social media because I was so afraid of like what other people would think of me. I was just like, Ugh, yoga? Everyone's gonna think I'm like some weirdo. You know what? I finally posted about it and I ended up influencing so many people to start their own yoga practice. Like that, that's such a crazy feeling and that's what I mean, like making other people happy and impacting other people's lives. You have to just start at a place where you understand that your happiness and your self-worth has to come from within. You can't rely on your best friend or your boyfriend or your girlfriend, your parents, your siblings, anyone. You can't rely on them to make you happy. You have to have the happiness from within. And that's truly how I am a happy person. I rely on myself for my happiness, no one else. It's all about being independent and finding your self-worth. And 
And yeah, that's a little tip on motivation and happiness. I truly hope you all find your self-worth and you are happy. And just remember, it's not always perfect. I definitely have my moments where I'm, whew, you know, but it's, you just got to overcome it and exist. Anyways, back to yoga. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a few stretches. And then at the end of the video, I will do a headstand, a complete headstand tutorial for those of you who have been asking. And I want to see your pictures. I want to see your headstands. I want you to send me these videos. I'll post them on my story. I'll give some tips. Maybe it'll help other people out. Just, oh, this is going to be so much fun. All right. So the first stretch that I want you guys to do is you're going to go ahead and I want you to simply, you don't have to be on a yoga mat, wherever's comfortable for you. And you don't have to do this stretch with me, but I'd really prefer if you did because it's going to be helpful for you. All right. So what I want you to do is we're going to apply the concept of breathing with our stretch. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your hands over your head and uh, you should be in a pike right now. It looks like this. It's on the floor. Just reach up tall to the ceiling and I want you to go ahead and breathe in. And exhale and reach up and over your toes. Reach as far as you can. Maybe you're up here. Maybe you can only stretch to here. It's totally fine. I just want you to be wherever you can be. Establish your foundation so that way you can grow. And watch this. I want you to breathe in again. A deep breath. One, two, three. Inhale. And exhale. Reach even further. Now don't tense up and reach up. Don't tense up. Just stay where you are. Keep breathing. Feel your muscles relax down here. Feel it relax when you exhale. And each time you exhale, I want you to reach even further. Even if it's just a little tiny centimeter, reach further on your exhale. So breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And just hold it here. Keep breathing while I talk. I just want you to know that it's okay if you're starting here right now. It's totally fine. And just remember, if it hurts, it's not supposed to feel comfortable. It's not supposed to be feel comfortable whatsoever. So just keep pushing yourself and go ahead and relax. Just remember that whatever stretch you're doing, it can always, you can always go deeper. You can always progress it simply by breathing through the stretch because I know it hurts. Like when I first did my splits, like when I first ended up getting them, it hurt so bad, like get, having to get them, but it eventually got easier, but it'd be, it would have been so much easier to learn if I knew that like breathing actually helps the process. Because what happens is when you breathe, you send air to your muscles, which may sound weird, but it's just like your muscles need oxygen. So if you're not breathing through the stretch, your muscles are gonna tense up because they can't breathe. You need to relax them and then it all just works out. Okay, let's try this one more time. We're gonna go ahead and go into a straddle and apply this concept. So your toes should be pointed, not flexed, pointed, pointed just like this. And I want you to go ahead and reach up arms above your head and you're gonna reach flat to the floor into a pancake type way. Let me scoot back just a tiny bit. And reach forward just like this, point your toes, point them. Okay, now here, remember it's okay if you're here or you're here or you're all the way to the ground. Wherever you're starting, just grow from there. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. Breathe in, breathe out, reach further every exhale. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Look at that. I just went all the way flat simply by breathing. I haven't been that flat on the floor for a long time. Look at me applying my own concepts. Um, so yeah, that is my biggest tip on yoga for any beginners, anyone at all. If you want to get into a real yoga practice where you start doing like real yoga, like hour sessions, you start learning all about the names of the poses, you know, whatsoever, let me know, DM me. I will do a deeper video on all of that. Just let me know. But yeah, that's basically for beginners. And remember, it doesn't matter if you're flexible. It doesn't matter if you've never stretched in your life before. It simply matters about where you are right now, establishing your foundation and applying your breath to your stretches. Okay, so if you wanna stay and try a headstand just for fun, I'd love to see a video. Um, I can go ahead and post them and give you guys some more tips. But 
I'm going to do a quick headstand tutorial just so you know you're not going to be able to see my feet but you will be able to see me down here so this is for everyone anyone who wants to try it just be careful <laughs> if you need to do it against a wall whatever feels comfortable for you all right so the first thing I want you to do is you're going to put your hands down on the mat like this and the second thing you're going to do is just get down into this little stretch hold on my mat's all folded back here okay so we're here and what i want you to do is you're going to make a gun with your finger <laughs> you're literally going to make a little gun type thing you're going to press this onto the back of your neck right here or the back of your head does that make sense? So technically in a headstand, your head's not supposed to be on the ground. Just the crown of it can be touching the floor a little bit, but your fingers are going to be supporting the back of your head. Okay, so you're going to put your head on the ground and you're going to use your fingers in the gun shape to support the back of your head. And then your top of your head, the little crescent crown can be touching a little bit. And I want you to go ahead and come in to dolphin pose. This is called dolphin pose. So make sure you can see me. Perfect. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to lift up whichever foot you feel comfortable with. And just go ahead and start trying to kick up your left foot. Try to do it nice and easy. Just see if you can get yourself off the floor. And if you're ready, go ahead and pick up that foot and come up. Just into a little tuck. Just see if you can get yourself up. And once you're ready, you can extend that leg and kick up. Whoa! <laughs> Let's kick back up. Sorry about that. See, everyone messes up. Okay, so you can kick up and you're gonna go ahead and go into the handstand. It's really not as easy as it looks, which I'm sure some of you know, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do one where I show you how I do it without talking so much so I can breathe and relax. Um, let me show you really quick. You have to engage your core and squeeze super tight. Just like that. Okay, so there is all the stuff you guys asked me about yoga. Um, I'm gonna make sure I covered all of it. Yeah, okay, so if you do want more specific stretching recommendations, I can go ahead and post them on my Instagram story. Just let me know down in the comments whatsoever, anything else you want to know about, please let me know because this was super fun to make and I love the impact that I'm making on some of you. So yeah, this was so much fun and I really hope this helped. Um, but I cannot wait to see all of you progress in your yoga practice. And maybe I will start making yoga videos that you guys can follow along to where it's like a peaceful setting. We can actually have like a one-on-one -on -one class type of setting. And yeah, so just let me know. I'm basing all of this off of you guys. So yeah, thank you so much again for watching. And I look forward to seeing all of your progress. Bye.